Hey everybody, it's Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Board for Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying, and we are here to bring you another quick tie. Tonight we're working off of Season 4, Episode 10, and we're going to be doing this fly called the Shop Back. Great little fly, and when I say little, I do mean little. We are going to be tying this in a size 18 today. If you uh, are watching this with us, we would like for you to tell us that you're here. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment. Go over there and click that little bell that lets you know um, when another video pops up that you can go and watch. Um, great, great resource. But more than anything, we want to know that you're here. We want to know that you're involved. Uh, be part of that replay squad. Let us know, okay? Let's head over to our kits. I'm going to grab my Season 4. There it is, Season 4 kit. If you do not have one of these already, you can still pick them up off our website at www.flyfishingboardriver.com backslash TNLS4 and grab yours today. If you don't, also use that resource because all the material lists for all the flies are there. You can work off your own gear and just be just as good off. All right, let's head over to the vise and let's get going. This one's not going to take us long, but it is a little bit finicky and obviously quite small. I am tying on a uh, size 18 with a gold bead. I am also going to be using some olive colored UTC 70 denier. So something a little bit smaller as it's a tiny little fly. First thing I'm going to do. Start my thread just behind the eye. I'm going to go ahead in there and trim that out. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to put in my very extra small size copper wire. Okay. I'm going to take this wire, shove it up in that bead a little ways, and just start wrapping it down. I want to keep it on the near side of the fly at the bottom. We are going to go a little ways down into that bend, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to come back up. And now I'm going to head on over to my next material, which is some pheasant tail. And I'm going to grab, yeah, two or three pieces out of this little clump here. Probably three is plenty. We're going to use this for the body of the fly. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with that wire. I'm going to just going to attach this to the hook shank. Okay. I'm going to work it down into that bend. Just like so, nice and deep. Take my thread up, make sure I've got a nice even underbody now all the way up to the bead where I'm going to throw a quick half hitch to save my work and set that out of the way. Now, first thing I'm going to bring forward is I'm going to go ahead and grab this, uh, this pheasant tail and I'm going to bring it forward. I'm going to grab some hackle pliers just to help me out. Okay. Now I'm just going to use my rotary function to just have nice touching wraps all the way up. Keeping that nice, even underbody. And I'm going to take this right up to the bead. You can leave a little space if you want, but I like to bring it right up there just so I know I got a good place to secure it all down. And I don't mind a little extra bulk up behind the bead, whereas I want to avoid it if it's farther down the hook. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim that out. Now to secure that somewhat fragile looking um, pheasant tail, I'm going to grab my wire now and I'm going to do the exact same thing. First, I'm going to throw a quick half hitch so I can get my bobbin out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing. Nice, open spiral, not super tight. Create some segmentation. And as you can see, it also is just going to bring some durability to this fly. Give me a few fish out of it instead of maybe just one. And then I'm going to go in there and helicopter it off or trim it out with your buddy scissors. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this post material, para post or some Antron or Zelon, whatever you want. I'm going to take just a little bit out of this. I'm not going to use a, that whole clump. I'm going to take about half of it. I'm going to kind of spin it so it kind of cords up a bit. And I'm going to trim it so it's flat. And I'm going to tie that in just behind the bead. Like so. I'm going to leave a little bit of that out front so I can pull it back, get it right where I want it. And all I'm going to do is secure that down. I'm going to take a few thread wraps rearward, not super far, but a little ways, leaving some room for the thorax of this fly. Okay. I'm going to leave it just like so. I'm going to head on over and I'm going to grab one peacock hurl. Just one is all we're going to need. Break off that top section as we know it's brittle and we're not going to use it. We're going to tie this in right behind the bead. Again, pull it so we got the slack taken out. Once I know that's good and secure, I am just going to 
make a nice little collar as this is going to be essentially the thorax of my fly right up to the bead go in there and secure it make sure i do it a couple times so i know it's not going anywhere i can trim that out i'm going to whip finish this fly right here trim up that antron and we are going to be complete on the shop back there we go whip finish complete snip out my thread get that out of the way the last piece of the puzzle is i'm going to come back here i'm going to guide this cut with my uh, scissors on the back bend of my hook leaning them kind of at about a 45 degree angle and snip and there you have it guys that is the shop vac there is nothing too complicated about this fly but i promise you it'll be effective keep a few of these in your box at all times on those tough picky days maybe go on, go on over and give one of these a try don't forget to like and subscribe this video leave a comment for the replay squad so we know you're here there might even be some prizes in store for you till next week guys on the next quick tie i'm tim hepworth and we'll see you again